this is the MFP video report part one for January the 16th, 2012. In this report, I will be speaking, in this part of the report, I mean, in that, that I will be speaking on the movie that I just watched, the Dark, the, the Dark Knight Returns animated feature part one and two. There's some prop, there's some incongruities with the the graphic novel of the same name, but all in all, it's a great, it's a pretty great ad adaptation of said movie. Now, here, here, here it comes. It's a, it was a very fast moving, fast paced, action packed adaptation but there are certain things that were missing out of this movie that were in the 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 basic the, the movie and the the, the 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 graphic novel the graphic novel yeah it may have said Batman the Dark Knight Returns but it was just as much about Superman and his dealings with Lex Luthor as it was with Batman and his problems with different things in Gotham City and himself and other things. For instance, Dick Grayson is nowhere to be found until the very end of the novel and is nowhere to be found in the movie. Jason Todd is dead. Uh, Tim Drake, who knows where he is. Bruce Wayne's life has spiraled out of control. Uh, James Gordon is retiring, going to be replaced by Ellen Yen. Uh, Jane, uh, uh, Barbara Gordon, who knows where she is? You know, Lois Lane is past, or we don't know. Lana Lang is. The thing in the mood in the no, in the graphic novel, there was this thing called uh, news in the news, which I don't know if they could have gotten away with on the video. It would have made it an R-rated video, but but there was enough stuff there. Oh, and by the way, with Superman, Jimmy Olsen was the guy that was chasing after all the information about basically the pulling of the strings of the so-called president. In a graphic novel, which was a computer-generated president by Lex Luthor, that all that information came from, of course, Jimmy Olsen, and so you got him. Oh, yeah, the Flash was 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 a pretty big part of the novel. Barry we Barry Allen, I was going to say Barry West, but Barry Allen, the Adam, the second Adam was a pretty big part of the thing. Wonder Woman was somewhat of a part of the of the graphic novel as was Captain Marvel, but we saw none of those people. We saw none of the fact that there were threats made against Captain Marvel. We saw none of the fact that uh, Mary Marvel, we saw none of the fact that there were threats being made against the Amazons. Diana had, was trying to talk Clark down. Clark was as was moping because Bruce has put his plans into action and he's going about rescuing all the rest of these guys who a lot of the heroes were being forced but you know the Flash of course there's Green Arrow who know and who has lost his arm and everything else but the Flash, the Atom, Wonder Woman uh, all those guys aren't in this movie but it's still, a, it's still a pretty awesome movie and an awesomely looking movie and it lives up to the drawings and renderings of said movies, you know, of said, of said not graphic novel. I just wish they could have, I, I, I guess I understand why some of the stuff was cut out because if they put everything that was in the graphic novels in the movies, in two parts of this movie, both parts of the movie might very well have been, you know, two and a half to three and a half hours, you know, and they just, don't spend that much time, money, and effort on animated movies. It's just something that happens in the industry. And this has been the part one of the MFP report for 
January 16, 2013.